everyone. How are you all doing? As you can see, I am sitting on the ground somewhere where I live in Canada. I'm actually at uh, Drumheller. So I've already been here before for one of my videos and I'm kind of hiding in this little spot right now, uh, sitting on the ground because the wind is a bit intense out here. So I'm trying to hide from the wind, but I don't think it's working very well. And I don't have my little fuzzy uh, dead cat thing with me. So I hope that the mic doesn't pick up too much of the wind. Anyways, I am beat from the last like month of travel. So I have pretty much no energy to really film all that much stuff today. Like I just don't have my usual bubbly self, I guess you could say, but I've just been go, go, go nonstop since, yeah, the last month, New Zealand, New York. So definitely has caught up to me this week and I've been trying to get some rest and just do some behind the scenes business work until, uh, so before I go to back to London and then off to Scotland. But anyways, I'm still out shooting tonight. I am back at this place because I want to do a self portrait, which I will walk you through when I go to, uh, over to do it. But I kind of wanted to take this opportunity because this past week I've been doing so much of the behind the scenes business work. Um, I've been thinking so, so much about things that I wish I knew like years ago, years and years and years ago that would have saved me so much time to help me reach like the goals that I'm trying to reach now. And I've been, I watch a lot of like YouTube videos about psychology of business and I just try to absorb as much information as I can so I understand like what it is that I'm really doing and what I'm building. And there's one thing that I didn't understand for a long time, probably not until even up until about a year ago. And then it finally just clicked. And that is like, if you're trying to just grow your photography or monetize your photography, for me, obviously it's a business and I'm trying to grow it so I can take care of myself. But there's one thing that I wish I would have understood rather than just sharing images. And that was pretty much all I did for years and years and years. And that helped me grow a following, um, which is very, very helpful and a part of it. But I didn't really understand value and like adding, not, not a uh, value of like, oh, you sell a photograph, it's really, really good. So you price it at X amount of dollars because you think it's valuable. I'm talking about value like, helping through photography and sharing the knowledge that I learn on the way, which obviously I do that now, but making more of an impact with what I'm doing rather than again, just posting images and then kind of calling it a day. I think that if I understood like the true meaning of value behind having a business, oh my gosh, I would be like five years into my goals already. So I'm not obviously beating myself up over it, but I've definitely been thinking about it a lot. And if there's any beginner that wants to do this for a living or if anybody wants to transition from their hobby and make this into a living, think about how you can add value to your photography and like help, help other people. And this also ties into like with purpose and all of that, but we can talk about that in another video but just understanding value and value with what I'm trying to do would have saved me so much time. Oh well, I understand it now and things are good. So slowly but surely growing.
hope that you guys enjoyed that. I actually had no idea I was going to really create something like this. I knew before um, where I wanted to pose from like my last visit there, but I had no clue that I was actually going to photograph it with my 70 to 200. I really wanted to have that look of the 70 to 200, like the compression. Um, but in this location, there's a staircase that was behind me and I, I just couldn't go back far enough to fit everything into the frame. So I actually had to do this as a pano. So it is four images stitched together and it worked out quite well. And that was a first for me doing a pano like that. So happy that it turned out the way that it did. What I would change though, is I would try to create some se some separation between me and the background because it's like such earth tones behind the background and those rocks are very similar to skin and my yellow dress. So yeah, a little bit of separation, maybe by like putting a light behind me, I think would have helped to, you know, really like, yeah, create that in the image, but pretty happy with how it turned out. Announcement time which you guys already know, because I've been talking about the tutorial for a little bit now. So on April 29th, I have an editing tutorial coming out and it's all about how to create dramatic images in Photoshop, but in a really short amount of time. So there's nothing complicated about it because I don't do complicated. There's no luminosity masking or anything like that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with luminosity masking. I just don't have time to spend so much on one edit. So typically my edits are done within 15 to 20 minutes and I use a, um, a variety of different techniques to help me create like that impact and that drama. And I've been editing like this for quite some time. So I really feel like I have developed a style and now I am ready to share that with you guys. So it goes on sale on April 29th. If you sign up to my email list below, I'm actually giving away one free copy on the same day. So it will be cho uh, the person will be chosen from that email list and it's going to be $24.99 until May 29th. Then it'll jump up to $39.99. But again, with the email list, you'll get an extra 10% off if you go and sign up there and you can use my code to apply that and get it for even lower of a price. I really think that you guys will like it and I think it will actually be very, very helpful. I edit two images in it and one of them is a self portrait. So you get to see also how I like edit the portrait and myself. And yeah, it's not too long. It's about 45 minutes long. So you can rewatch it over and over and then you'll start to learn those techniques that I teach in it. I think that that is everything that I have to say. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really had a fun time making it even though I'm tired. I'm going to London and Scotland in five days. So of course you guys are gonna be coming along that journey with me and I can't wait to get out there and create. Anyways, thank you again for watching the video. Bye. I'm going